Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Smeralda and you are watching Albo Plants. So in today's video I will finally do some much needed repotting and the plants that need the most repotting are some of my larger plants in my collection and the reason why I was postponing so much these repottings was because I didn't have the uh, exact size that I needed of pots and yeah I finally got some and I am now able to make these repottings. As you can see here it's quite dark, outside is storming so much and uh, part of the repotting was filmed yesterday actually and is still a little bit darker and in another place of my home in my living room so I hope you will enjoy the background and the capture of the video because yeah I needed to film it a bit more far away than usual because the plants are quite big and they could not fit the frame and still I wasn't able to feel everything inside to fit everything inside the frame but yeah the most important part which is the pot and the roots and everything I think that I caught very well so yeah I hope you will enjoy watching this video and yeah it was a little bit hard because those plants are quite heavy let me tell you but I'm so happy I did it and I will put the footage now. So here I am in my living room and here I do have a couple of plants and they are the bigger plants that I own in my collection. So these ones really need repotting because they have been drying out super super fast and it has been quite a while that I need to repot them. So yeah, this is the bird of paradise. Then we have this begonia that is drying out every two days. I need to water her constantly and as you can see the leaves are droopy. I also have in this corner my big ficus lirata which obviously it also needs a repotting because I can see the roots on top of the soil. And then I do have my big Rhodophora tetrasperma, which is growing like crazy and the pot is very small compared to its size, which also needs a repot, so yeah. These are the plants that I want to work on today. Hopefully everything goes smoothly without any problems because, yeah, they are quite, quite big and a little bit more difficult to deal with. Okay, so as you can see this is not my usual setup, but because these plants are so so big I need more space, so I'm in my living room and yeah, the floor is quite bare with tiles, so it's quite easy if I make a mess to clean up. And the plan will be to first repot the bigger ones, which is my ficus and my bird of paradise, and then reuse the pots that they have for my other plants that need that size of pot. So yeah, let's get started with the process. Starting with my ficus lirata, and I also have an ola in there so I need to be careful not to break it or something. Can you see anything? What I'm doing? It's quite big, I cannot fit in frame. I'm just taking off this bamboo stick. Okay, this is off. Phew. I took off the Ola just to be 100% sure I'm not going to break it. This one I'm going to plant it in this pot that I have. Okay, let's start by taking off. Just checking a little bit the roots. Yeah, they're coming out from the bottom. 
so yeah they are coming out from the bottom and even on top I'm seeing a lot of roots so yeah this plant needs a repot as soon as possible and ficus lirata roots are quite thin actually it is very interesting to see such a big plant with very thin roots so I also need to be careful not to break or touch a lot the root mass so it's not going to give me problems when the plant comes out like that from the pot you know that the roots are quite developed and keep the shape of the pot so you can see the roots of the ficus the ones that are thicker but most of the roots are quite thin so yeah you maybe are not able to see them 100% or you think that it's just soil but actually it's full of very thin roots I'm always using the same kind of soil that I find here in Albania, which is this one, it's called Max Super, I don't know what brand it is, but I do really like this one, and yeah, for the ficus, it is very moist retained, and uh, I think that it will be going to enjoy it. As always, I'm putting some at the bottom of the planter and I was postponing so much the repotting of these big plants because first of all they are quite heavy and very difficult to move and I the main reason I was postponing the repotting was because I didn't have the right pots to put them in but finally I found some and I think they are perfect they are going to work out for the moment depending on how the roots are going to develop maybe I will need to repot them again in spring or yeah I don't know we will see I'm just slowly trying to loosen up the roots at the bottom just by tapping okay I think I need to remove some soil I put too much inside This should work now. Okay, yeah, I think it's quite nice like this. And you see that it is leaning a little bit, that's why I put the stick at the first place because it was starting to lean. You see? Yeah. So I do have a very nice experience with Ficus lirata. Actually, I bought this plant when it was a pretty small one and I have never had any problems like the ones that I see quite often referring to the Ficus lirata like being very like finicky plant and losing a lot of the bottom leaves. Actually I have never had that problem of losing the bottom leaves. I just in one period I took them off by myself because I wanted to um, make it more of a small tree shape so I took off some of the bottom leaves by myself and yeah I never had any problems with this plant actually it was quite good since the start and it has always grown for me I don't have it in a super bright spot in my home uh, the windows in my living room are north facing and 
Yeah, they don't receive a lot of light. Only during the summer they may receive a little bit of direct light during the sunset, but not too much. So maybe I got lucky with this one and it is a good specimen of plant, but yeah, I don't really understand people who are saying that ficus lirata are so so difficult to care of because from my experience it has been quite easy actually. I know that for a period of time this plant used to be very very sought after and trendy and when I got it um, it wasn't at that level but it still was expensive and that's why I I was very happy when I found a smaller plant available in one of my local shops which yeah I thought it was perfect for me because I really didn't want to buy such a big plant they were selling them like trees you know for interior design and for different businesses or I don't know to decorate because it was quite popular for interior decoration and I didn't have the space and I didn't want to get a big one which was a lot more expensive and I think that plants that are very mature when you buy them very mature from the shop there is a higher risk that they will not do well in your home because I think that the fact that they have become so mature, they are used to some kind of conditions. So they are happy and they grow up so much. And if you bring them in your home, you have different kind of conditions. And I think that they will show it directly. So most of the times, when you buy mature plants, you need to be careful because I think there is a higher chance that you will get problems from that plant. Just my opinion. And I have also heard other YouTubers mention this, like Sydney, the plant guy, also talks about this thing. That he only buys smaller plants and he tries to mature them by themselves. Because, yeah. He also thinks that if you buy mature specimens, you are more. There is a higher chance that you will experience problems with them. I have also seen like people getting philodendron melanochrysums as very big specimens because they are pretty, pretty beautiful when they are big, and everyone wants to mature them. But then they experience like this thing that even though they buy them pretty mature with mature big leaves the new leaves that they put out in their home when they get it they become quite smaller so yeah so yeah i bought this plant pretty small and now it is slowly becoming like those big trees that are typical of ficus lirata Actually, I'm also planning on the next spring, I'm going to chop the top off because I want it to branch out and I'm going to propagate it and maybe I will do a video about it. If you are interested, leave a comment down below if you want to see the video or are you already like <laughs> over this plant. I'm not over it. I do really like it. Okay, so I think the first plant is done, actually. It wasn't that difficult, but also I would have liked to have a bigger pot, uh, a bit of a bigger pot for this one, but for the moment it has to do like this and maybe in the spring I will repot it again. 
So yeah. I also put again the Ola at the plant planter and I'm going to try and put the stick again because I don't want it to lean like this. So that is done. I'm going to put it back in its place and at the end show you an overview of all the plants but for the moment I'm going to continue with the next plant. Okay, okay. I'm coming. I need to be careful. So this plant is huge, huge. This is my bird of paradise and it's becoming also a giant. I think for a couple of leaves I need, I will need to rehome it because it doesn't fit anymore my place. Yeah, let's start by taking off this bamboo stick again. And I know this is not the best moment to rip out this plant because it's pushing out a new leaf, but yeah, I'm worried that it has filled out the pot and I need to do it because I don't want for it to decline, it is doing so well. Phew, I'm nervous, guys. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Let's first check out the roots. Yeah, you can see. There's a root coming out from the bottom. Birds of Paradise have got really thick and juicy roots. So it has happened to me that when it was very root bound long time ago, it slowly started pushing the pot upwards and it was so strange looking actually two roots, two very thick roots were coming out from the bottom and they looked like little legs. So yeah, maybe this plant <laughs> wanted to start walking and go away from me. I hope not. I think I'm treating you right because you are growing so much. I don't think you wanted to go away from me, yeah? As you can see, can you see the new leaf which is coming out yeah so cool okay so i'm going to use this pot for this one and reuse some of the soil more soil at the bottom for this one because I've noticed the Bird of Paradise really stretch the roots uh, going downwards more than grow the roots on the upper part of the soil. So I want to give a lot of space for the roots to grow. Yeah, that's perfect. This pot is actually perfect for this plant. 
I'm running out of soil and I think I need to open a new soil bag which is not ideal Oops Nothing happened guys, we are fine Okay So I have some soil in this planter that I want to recycle, so I'm going to use this one. Yeah, fill out everything and I'm also going to put again my Ola because I do really like them and they are quite nice especially during the summer they have helped me a lot to keep my plants hydrated longer and if you don't know what olas are I'm going to link a video that I've made regarding them and you can also try it out for yourself and see if they work for you they are very easy to make and also the same as with my ficus lirata, even with this bird of paradise, even with this bird of paradise, I got it when it was a smaller plant. This was actually a gift from Rudy and yeah, when I first got it, the plant was pretty small compared to what it has grown. I've had a very nice experience with this plant. No problems at all. And I've moved it and kept it in different places, but usually, yeah, my windows, most of them are north facing, so even if they say that the bird of paradise needs, needs a lot, a lot of light, I still manage to keep her happy in my north facing windows. So, yeah, if you are uh, hesitant on uh, having a bird of paradise because you think that you can't give it enough light then in my experience even if you have north facing windows then it's fine just keep it close to the window so it will get like it will see the sky and it's fine i mean look at it it become a giant plant so yeah i also finished with this one and I'm going to put a lid bag on my Ola and I have the bamboo stick which I'm thinking is it really necessary but yeah I think I'm going to put it the other way okay I need to just put it back in place now yeah oh it's going fine everything is fine <laughs> And now the two big boys. Two big boys are out and I just have one other one which is huge, which is my Raphidophora tetrasperma and yeah, I'm going to continue with that one now. So now I have to deal with this guy and I'm going to reuse one of the pots that I took off from the two plants that I first made and yeah I'm guilty I don't really clean them thoroughly before planting other plants because yeah I haven't had any problems with those plants before not even pests or rot or anything and they came out so perfectly from the pot, so I don't feel like it's necessary for me to thoroughly clean them or... Yeah, so I'm going to lay down for the moment, like this. And I just want to check if the pots are the same size.
so I do have I first put this raffitophora with this um, if you can see this wooden plank and then it overgrew it and I put whoa okay then it overgrew it and I put this bamboo trellis so I think I need to take off this wooden piece and because it it doesn't need it anymore and maybe I can use it for some other plants. You can see that there are some roots coming out from the bottom. So let's try and take this plant out. Okay, you can see the roots guys. Yeah, it's intense. Sorry, little guy. But you are going to feel much better now. I need help for this one. So Rudy went to get some more sticks to make it more secure at the bottom. Even though this is going to lay on the surface. And you can hear the mosquea at the background. Shanti, what is it? What is it? Huh? What is happening in here? Inspection. To show it. It's better. You see? No, wait. Don't move it. Mm. It's done. It's better like this and we're going to put it on the ground because it's quite tall now. So this is the last plan for today's reporting. I managed to finish the three bigger plants and this is the last one. So I'm going to use quite a big planter compared to the one that this begonia has for the moment because I have seen that this begonia really likes moisture and grows pretty fast. So I think it's going to be quite alright. Begonia roots are quite fine as well, so you need to be careful not to upset them a lot. I am quite uh, silent when I make the repotting because I'm not used to talk in the meantime and I am so concentrated when I repot and maybe for you it's a little bit boring I'm so sorry if that's the case I know a lot of plant tubers make this chatty repot with me and yeah I think I can do those if you guys have any question maybe you are not curious enough to make one of those videos but I also don't think that it's quite suitable to make those kind of videos if you have difficult reportings to do. 
like the ones that I did on this one because they were quite challenging actually because of the size of the plant and yeah I had to have my focus 100% on what I was doing but maybe in a future video if somehow you are interested in one of those types of videos I can of course try to make one just let me know in the comments down below are you straight enough? Okay, so I think this is also done. So yeah, this was my final repotting of today. And I'm so happy I got them done. And especially these plants that I was repotting today, they needed the repotting for quite some time now. And this one was drying out so, so quickly. It was stressing me out a little bit because I didn't want for this beautiful plant to start declining. And now I feel so relieved that I have done this chore. So yeah, I still have some smaller repottings to do before winter really comes because here in Albania actually the temperatures don't really drop so low only in January and February we experience some very cold temperatures but yeah December and November are still quite like autumnal temperatures and I think that I am still in time to make some repottings and yeah the next video or in a couple of next videos I will also do some other kind of repotting so stay tuned for that So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle to repot these very big plants. And yeah, I hope they will continue to grow even though for some of them I am a bit concerned because how am I going to fit such big plants in my living room? But I will find a way. <laughs> So again, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share and also leave a comment down below. Um, also, if you are not, then subscribe to this channel. I will try to put content every week. I know that this time I was a little bit late. I'm sorry. But yeah, this thing for the pots that I couldn't find the right size postponed me to film this video. But yeah, now it's finally done. And I will do other repotting soon because I have some other but smaller plants I need to repot before winter really comes here in Albania. So yeah, I will see you soon on my next video. Don't forget to check out also my Instagram page, albo underscore underscore plants. And yeah, thank you very much again. Have a lovely day. Bye.